During preliminary cockpit preparation, the following cockpit lights are set as required. Switch overhead integral lighting on. The overhead integral lighting knob controls the intensity of the overhead integral lighting. Switch standby compass light on. The standby compass switch controls the standby compass integral lighting. Set the dome light selector to the bright position. The dome selector can be set to bright, dim or off position to control the dome lighting intensity. Set the dome light selector to the dim position. The dome light should be selected during cockpit preparation as it is the only lighting source in battery supply configuration. The dim position is recommended for takeoff. The annunciator lighting selector provides brightness adjustment, bright or dim, and can be used to test all the cockpit annunciator lights. The dim position reduces illumination while the bright position increases illumination. Set the annunciator lighting selector to test. In the test position, all annunciator lights come on and all liquid crystal displays, LCD, indicate 8s. Note, any ECAM ND transfer or EIS DMC switching is prohibited during the annunciator lighting test. The floodlight main panel knob controls the intensity of the main instrument panel lighting. Now switch integral lighting on. The integral lighting main panel and pedestal knob controls the intensity of integral lighting for the main panel and pedestal. The floodlight pedestal knob controls the intensity of the pedestal floodlight. The FCU lighting is controlled by two sliding potentiometers. The left one controls the integral lighting of the FCU labels, knobs and switches while the right one controls the integral lighting adjustment of the FCU window displays. During the preliminary cockpit preparation, the following lights can also be used as required. The console floor selectors have bright, dim and off positions. The map lights are controlled by an on-off switch and a brightness adjustment knob. The next step is the walk around. During this phase, the condition of the external lights needs to be checked. The first lights to be checked are the lights fitted on the nose landing gear. The taxi light is at the top, on the right side of the gear strut. The takeoff light is on the opposite side, while both turn-off lights are attached on the lower part of the strut. A wing light is fitted on each side of the fuselage. Two red beacon lights are installed, one on the top of the fuselage and one on the lower center fuselage. A landing light is fitted under each wing close to the main landing gear well. The lights are in their normal retracted position.
Two sets of navigation lights and a strobe light are installed on each wingtip. Just below the APU exhaust, there are two white navigation lights and a strobe light. We will now carry on with the second normal operation module.